What's going on guys, Mr. Ladd here. We are on a job. I already, I'm gonna be filming, filming a couple videos on this car, but we're on the job here. And uh, one of the things that the customer asked me to do is try to remove some of this road rash over here. Um, the customer's wife uh, ran into something or something ran into them. I didn't get the whole story, wasn't too worried. Thankfully everyone's okay. But this is where I as a detailer come in. And so as a detailer, you're going to get a lot of jobs like this, especially because people, whether you're at fault, the other person's at fault, there's always someone who's being a little bit rec a little bit reckless on the road. And so uh, this could be anything uh, running into a side sign, um, someone running into you, shopping carts, whatever. I mean, stuff like this can happen even with the most the most unexpected things. And so uh, when it comes to a job like this, first thing you want to do, is wash it down. Take a waterless wash, something that has a little bit of alkaline in it, hopefully, and wash it down, rinse it down, and kind of see well how much can come off with a little bit of pressure. Um, this not much came off. A little came off, but not much. But since I washed it down, now I'm able to take a better look at it. And I'm looking at a couple spots here that I notice I will not be able to fix. You have to touch those up. It's past the paint. It looks nothing like paint transfer. It's not a buff. It's not something that can be buffed out. These are actual scratches that are past the clear coat of the paint, actually past the color. We're down to the actual panel itself. And so um, now that I see that, I'm looking at the, this area over here is one specific area that can be buffed out most likely. This is another area. And then this down here is another area. You want to kind of section it off. Um, and the reason why is because it helps you to kind of compartmentalize it. And so I'm taking a rotary polisher with a wool pad here. I'll be going up with a polish pad afterwards, but I want to kind of show you the actual removal process. I'm not going to get in depth with the whole fine polishing all that. I'm going to do that, but I'm not going to get in depth with that in this video. I'm going to keep it really short for you guys um, just so you can kind of see how do you remove road rash? How do you, how do you remove this type of stuff? Um, and so what I do is I have got my Buff and Shine Euro wool pad. It's a six inch pad on my, just my Harbor Freight rotary. I've got the flex backing plate. I've talked about it before. And uh, I'm using the Pearl Nano Perfection Correcting Compound. I really like this. It's a great all, um, one step compound. All in, not, it's not an all in one because there's no protection in it, but it's a diminishing abrasive compound, which actually works really, really well for situations like this. So I'm gonna kind of section everything off and we're gonna see how well does this actually work? Can this be removed? So I'm going over it and I see it's getting much, much, much lighter and a lot of it is going away. Okay, after doing a few passes, let's take a look now. Now, if you can see on the camera, a lot of it, the stuff that was up here, has been removed. And so we're left with one little scratch over here. Hopefully you can see on the camera. If not, I apologize. It's a really sunny day and I have a low quality camera. So we're working with what we got here, but I'm seeing that it's actually going away. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna go ahead and now and try to get this little spot off. Let me apply a little more compound. Not a whole lot more, but just a little bit more so I can get back to the spot.
take another look. And now that scratch is virtually gone. So this whole upper area, it's gotten a little warm too. It's gotten a little warm, so I need to kind of space out how many times I actually want to go over it. It needs to cool off a little bit before I hit it again, especially when we're working in direct sunlight. But I see it's mostly gone. Two more passes, and I'll probably be completely gone. And then I'm going to go ahead and attack. I'm, what I'm going to do is before hitting that again, I'm going to go to the rest of it so I can let that cool down for a little bit. Now, you could take a DA. You can go ahead and uh, use your DA and, and get to it, and that, that would definitely work, and that'd be fine. But for me, I like rotaries because they work so much quicker. They're, it's just a dream to work with. I love it. position myself but already it's going away it's mostly corrected So we're getting there. It's going to be a process, but we are getting there little by little. Not too much heat is being introduced. That's good. Like I said, you could use a DA, but the problem with DAs is that they don't work as quick. And if you know how to use a rotary, take advantage of the power that the rotary has to offer. Okay, so now that I'm getting more down into it, I'm seeing some spots that will not remove. A lot of these lines here are past, and you cannot remove them. That will be able to remove but we're seeing a lot more scratches here now that i'm getting down to it i'm actually looking into the actual panel we're getting into it and i can see actually what cannot be removed so i'm gonna try one more pass spread it around and let's try one more pass now, one thing to be careful when you're working with rotaries, one thing to be careful about is these character lines here. Because when you buff against them, what happens is that you have the risk of burning or eating through paint. So do be careful of that. Be mindful of those. Oh, yeah. getting there. We are mostly there as far as this one big area. We are, man, that is so much better. That is just unbelievable. Um, so guys, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I know everyone wants to see the finished product, but from before to after that big conglomerative area, um, this big spot right here, that's all gone. It's just what all that's left is what cannot be corrected i have to actually touch it up with, with a touch-up pen or some paint touch-up there's still some more areas down here over here but it's going to take too long for a video that you guys don't want to see anyway so <laughs> um i'm going to i'm going to end it there guys but it's actually very easy to remove this stuff but one thing i want to add to this channel is i want to show you guys 
how rotaries are so easy to use and just with a little bit of caution you can get tremendous results better results than a da so um guys once again mr lad here i'm gonna go over one more time we use the harbor fray chicago um rotary polisher i've got a flex backing plate you can get from any company this one is from buff and shine this is also the buff and shine euro wool pad it's a synthetic wool composite uh, it's really really good really really effective um, and it's very aggressive. I like it. I, I love wool pads. I love rotaries. But also, I love the Perfection Correction Compound. It's an all-in-one. So basically, it's a diminishing abrasive. You can use it as a compound, and it can finish out to a polish and works very well. Great stuff. I love it, guys. But once again, Mr. Lad here. Uh, thank you so much for all, all to all my subscribers. Thank you for all that you do for the community. Guys, stay tuned for any great videos, which all great videos. But uh, take care, guys. Have a wonderful day.